Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and I hope you guys are having a great week. Now I got a really cool printer to show you guys which is this Moose 3-in-1 printer. So let's get started. <music> So before we begin, I gotta say that this is a prototype unit and that things might change on their final production unit. Now this is considered a three-in-one printer. And what I mean by three-in-one is that it could do three different jobs using one platform. You could 3D print with this, laser etch, and also CNC, which is mind-blowing. This is built on top of a metal frame and the print size is 130 by 130 by 130 on all three different modes. Each time you need to use a different mode, you would have to replace one of the heads. And it takes four screws in the back and all you have to do is just replace it in the front. It does not have bed heating, nor does it have auto leveling, but there's a reason behind that. Now each time you change the different modes, whether it's CNC or the laser cutter, you have to change the Z height. So that's why they don't have auto homing. Now for the laser cutter itself, you would have to be 20 millimeters above the object. So if you got a, some, if you got a piece of wood that's five millimeters thick, you would have to go 25 above that. So that's where your Z axis should be. With the CNC, depends on what you're cutting, you would have to put the point right on top of that five millimeter piece of wood. So, or 10 millimeter or 15, whatever the size it is. Now the 3D printing, you would definitely have to touch the bed. All the units also come with this screen, which makes everything very easy to home and to modify or to adjust and select. Now wiring this thing is no brainer. I'm telling you, if you get this wrong, you probably shouldn't even be owning a 3D printer. In the back of this guy, everything is labeled. X, Y, Z, uh, the head, everything is labeled. You also get three different ways to communicate with this guy. One, you could use SD card. Two, you could use the thumb drive. Or you could directly hook a USB into the port and then use your computer to print out of. Now, for the 3D printer itself, you could use Cura or repeater hose or slicer or whatever you want to use to operate it as long as you put the settings in for 130, 130, 130. And the maximum speed I've tried was 40. Now, as far as the laser cutter and the CNC, they use their own proprietary software. Now, their software, I got to admit, is not that great. But then again, I got the pre-alpha beta slash whatever version, or you could say the, the really early release version where not all the options are set. And I'm hoping by the time they have this unit in production, it will actually have a better software. Now, what I mean by the software itself, in the laser etching, it does perfectly fine. The G codes go left and right, left and right, and the laser etches whatever it needs to. Now, when it goes into a CNC mode, that's where it gets a little bit sloppy. It's, it's all in the software. There's nothing wrong with the hardware itself. The hardware should be able to take whatever G code you put in. It's a software on how they code the image that you're trying to cut out or the square that you're trying to cut out. It's just not doing it properly. So in conclusion, this printer is very sturdy. I'm telling you, I could probably put this upside down and still be able to 3D print with it. The downside to it is the software itself. It's not able to do all the things that you need to do uh, until they update the software. By the time you guys purchase this unit or probably get the production unit, I'm hoping that the software will be all fixed up. Now, I will also be doing a full project with this with all three different modes, using 3D printing to print something, then laser etching into that, uh, that something, and then also CNC into that something. So I will be releasing that video a little bit later. So be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that little bell notification so you know when that video is going to be out. Now if you guys enjoyed this review please hit that like button and if you guys got any questions about this hit it in the comments below and as I say my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.